Hi, everybody. Welcome back into the Sporting News studio. I'm Stephen Levine, standing here with Ryan Fagan, college basketball writer for Sporting News. We're previewing all your March Madness games, every single one, uh, courtesy of the UPS Team Performance Index. It's time for Michigan versus South Dakota State, a four versus the 13. I love that the uh, South Dakota State are the Jackrabbits. <laughs> Might be my new favorite mascot for any NCAA team. Now, this game is really about the battle of the point guards. Right. Absolutely. Fantastic matchup. If you're going to put together two teams that are going to give you an entertaining game because of entertaining players, it's going to be Trey Burke from Michigan, you know, who was a Sporting News All-American all first team. And it's going to be Nate Walters from South Dakota State. They both can dominate the game in so many ways. They both make their teammates better. They're both capable of putting up 30 points. Nate Walters has scored more than 50 points in a game this year. Nate Walters took his Jackrabbits into New Mexico, a place where nobody wins, and they beat the Lobos. So this is a team that if you're Michigan, the fact that you're playing against such a good offensive team with such a good point guard is going to make you a little bit nervous. Both of these guys have great offensive TPI numbers, 126 for Michigan, 119 for South Dakota State. Talk about the supporting cast, though. Obviously, you've got these two exquisite point guards. Who are they surrounded by? Well, I think that's where Michigan gets a little bit of advantage. That's where you have the higher caliber athletes. And that's not to, to knock the South Dakota players. But Michigan's got Tim Hardaway uh, Jr. They've got Glenn Robinson the third. They've got Nick Stauskas. They've got several guys that can put up 20 points on any given night. And the thing that makes the supporting cast of Michigan so good is that Trey Burks such a good, does such a good job of getting the ball in the right position. He recognizes who has the hot hand. You know, he's going to feed the guy who's going to do that. Tim Hardaway Jr. especially can get hot from the outside. He can knock down four or five threes in a span of five or six minutes. And he's the kind of guy that can turn a five or six point deficit into a five or six point lead really quick. And I think that's something that's going to be important in this game. So Wolverine fans shouldn't be worried? Oh, they should be worried. I don't think they should be really worried. <laughs> Mildly worried. Right, because it's, be, it's going to be tough. It's absolutely going to be a fun game. But, you know, Michigan is, they're so good offensively, the Wolverines are, and I just think they wind up taking this one. All right, for Ryan Fagan, I'm Stephen Levine. Thanks for watching this preview. Uh, remember, we're going to be previewing every single March Madness game right here on SportingNews.com. It's brought to you by the UPS Team Performance Index.